Hi kids! Welcome to our online service that has been produced specially for you. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Kids Online Service Christmas Special. I hope you have been enjoying this Christmas series that has been specially planned for you. You know children, even I love Christmas time and it's my most favorite time of the year. We all know that Christmas is all about the birth of Jesus. But I have a question for you all. Tell me, who is Christmas for? Is Christmas for kids? I know that kids love the presents and the fun of Christmas. So is Christmas for kids or is Christmas for adults? I know that adults love to decorate for Christmas and eat all the great Christmas food. So do you think it's for adults? During this Christmas season, we see so many adults helping the poor with food, blankets, clothes, toys. Is Christmas for those people who help out like this or is it for those who receive all these things during the holidays? Who is Christmas really for? We all know that Jesus came to earth born as a baby. But who did he come for? It wasn't for the rich. It wasn't for the poor. It wasn't for the adults. It wasn't even for the kids. So who did he come for? The truth is, Jesus came for all people. He came for the important people and the not so important people. He came for everyone. Today, we are going to look into the lives of people who are part of the Christmas story but were considered as not so important people. They were not at all given any value or consideration. But still, we see that they got the front row seat to witness the birth of Jesus. Can you guess children? Who were they? That's right, they were the shepherds and we are going to learn about them today. Are you all excited? Okay, so before we dig deeper into it, let's close our eyes, pray and get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this wonderful day. As we watch this service, bless us and help us to understand your word. Bless everyone who has worked hard to make this video. Bless all the children watching the service. Help us to understand your word. Guide us. In Jesus' name, Amen. We read in Luke chapter 2, verse 13 to 14. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When Jesus was born, the angelic host started praising and worshipping God. Let us too enjoy the presence of God for his goodness and faithfulness, and together let us too praise and worship the God Almighty. Come on. Clap your hands and sing and dance joyfully to the Lord. Okay, good morning kids. I hope you guys are excited to worship the Lord our God. I hope you guys are doing well. And, uh, and I know that Christmas is around the corner, so we're just going to sing some really familiar Christmas carols. So I hope you guys join in and, and let's just worship the Lord our God. All right. So the first one we have is called Angels We Have Heard On High. Come on, you can clap your hands.
praise God. preparation going on i am really excited and the last two weeks were filled with so much fun actually i am planning a lot of things for christmas eve with my friend chipilola do you all remember chipilola yes but where's chipilola chipilola chippy where are you i can't see you Chipilola, where were you? I was looking for you everywhere and called out to you so many times. I was telling our friends who are watching us online about all the preparations we've been doing for Christmas Eve. Aww. Wait, Chipilola, are you sad? What happened to you? You look very sad. Is everything all right? Aww. Yeah. Sad, yeah, I'm sad. What's the matter? Why don't you tell me about it? Maybe I'll be able to help you out. Mm. Sandy, I feel I'm of no value. I don't think I can do anything. No one considers me of any importance. Oh, Chipilola, let me tell you an interesting fact that might change your sad face to a happy face. Okay, 
Now you tell me, do you know who were the people that were present with Jesus after his birth? Hmm, Joseph, Mary, um, and who else? Can you think more? Aha, the animals in the stable. People, Chippy, I'm asking about who were the people present. Right, the shepherds. You know, the shepherds at the time were considered and generally seen as having low or little value by other people. Did you know that? They lived a very simple life. But you know, it was the shepherds who were the first to be told about Jesus' birth. This is only the second time in the whole Bible that a group of angels rather than one single angel had appeared to people. So this proved that the angels had a very important message to give to the shepherds. Isn't that wonderful? I'll tell you more about it. Now, here's something you will find even more interesting. A couple of miles away or outside of Bethlehem, but still within the region commonly called as Bethlehem, right? There was a, a special watchtower called the Migdal Edda, which means the tower of the flock. It's thought that the sheep born there were used as the sacrifice animals in the Jewish temple. So they were very special. The lambs born there were even wrapped in swaddling cloth like how they wrap children or babies. Yeah, to show that they were special lambs. You know Chipilola, one Old Testament prophecy from the Bible. In Micah chapter 4 and verses 8 also said that the Messiah would come to the tower of flock. This is so amazing! You got that right, Tipilola. That's not all. Having seen the new baby, the Bible says that the shepherds spread the word about this newborn child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds saw. They were all shocked and surprised that the shepherds got to witness it. So Chipilola, remember, each and every one of us who are created by God have value and a divine purpose. You don't have to feel small or unimportant. Are you okay now? Oh, yes! Good morning, children. Are you ready to open today's gift? So we heard that the shepherds were the first people to hear about Jesus' birth. The shepherds were really delighted and excited about the whole episode that happened. Can you just imagine, children, the angel who came to give the good news of Jesus' birth to the shepherds was joined by a host of angels praising God and wishing peace to those who worship the baby. An amazing display for simple men like the shepherds in a field to see. The angels departed, leaving the shepherds in awe. But the shepherds didn't just stand there for long. These simple, normal shepherds were invited to visit the newborn baby, the Messiah. They rushed to Bethlehem to see this incredible miracle for themselves. And just as they had been told by the angels, there in a manger lay a baby wrapped in cloth. What did the shepherds do after that, children? Do you think they kept quiet? And did they think to themselves, we have seen the Messiah and that's enough. No, they were chosen by God 
to share the good news to others around them. Shepherds were considered so unreliable and of no value and nobody believed them. But they shared the good news about Jesus' birth to everyone they met. They were the ones God chose to spread the good news of the Messiah. You can even say that the shepherds became the world's first evangelists. In the Bible, it says that the shepherds told everyone about the angels and about the Savior's birth. And all who heard the news were excited and they were amazed. So remember children, we too are the chosen generation who are to share the good news to people around us. Our gift box today is going to help us share the gospel. So without delay, let's open the gift box and see what's inside. A gift bag. Yes, now I'm going to teach you how we can use a gift bag to share the good news of Jesus to others. Okay? So the first step is to get a gift bag or you can even use an envelope and then you can write a nice message on it like I have written Jesus loves you. Once this is done, we will have to make some nice postcards to put inside the bag. Okay, so take your card and then you can write a nice message from the Bible on your postcard. Maybe a blessing or a promise from God, something like. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Or you can write, Jesus gives you peace. So here I've written, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. It's from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. And then you can decorate it with stickers, or you can, uh, or you can even put ribbons on it. You can put flowers, you can put smiley stickers, you can decorate it in whatever way you like. So I'm going to stick a flower on this now. Okay. Like this, you can decorate it in whatever way you like. I've made two more here. So you make many many postcards like this if you don't have cardboard you can even use paper this is paper I've used here this one says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and this one says the Lord gives strength to his people the Lord blesses his people with peace it's from Psalm chapter 29 verse 11 so you make many cards like this decorate it and then the most important step is to write pass it on at the bottom so the main idea of this is that people read the message of jesus that you have written and then when they read pass it on they share it with others so you take your postcards put it inside your gift bag and then you give it to somebody and when that person receives the, the gift bag, the person reads the messages and gets to know about Jesus through your messages. And then when that person sees pass it on, it means that that person will have to pass on the gift bag to the next person for that person to read and enjoy the good news of the gospel. And then like that, the other person will do the same thing and then they will pass on the message to someone else and then they will pass on the message to someone else and the good news of Jesus will spread. So this is our sharing bag.
1 Peter 2.9 says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Just as we heard that the shepherds were chosen to be the first to hear about Jesus' birth, we too are his chosen people, his holy nation, a royal priesthood to proclaim about the good news of his love to those around us. So let's stand up confidently, hold up your Bible high up in the air and make our declaration that we are his chosen generation. Say this out loud, bold and strong with me. This is God's word. This is God speaking to me. I am who God says I am. I can do what God says I can do. I will become everything God has promised. I am saved, healed, delivered, redeemed. I am blessed, victorious, prosperous, triumphant. I am a minister of God a servant of Christ and a channel of his blessing to many people. I receive his word. I believe his word and I live by his word. Christ is my master and to him I am in absolute surrender. I walk to the more glorious covenant with God. I live the more glorious life in the spirit. I manifest the more glorious ministry in the Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning, children. The last two weeks, we have been learning about people who were really important in the Christmas story. Right? So, we looked into the lives of Elizabeth and Zechariah, and then Mary and Joseph. Today, we have been learning about the shepherds. Children, can you tell me what is this? That's right, it's a staff. Now tell me, what is it used for? Yes, a shepherd uses it to take care of the sheep. Can you quickly name some famous shepherds from the Bible? Very good. Abel, Abraham, Moses, David, that's right. No children, shepherds back in the days of Abraham were respected and were very rich. Sheep were always wanted by the people. And when the tabernacle was built and then the temple, shepherds were needed to raise sheep for sacrifices. But over the years, everything changed. Masters hired servants, to watch their sheep. The masters stayed in town and the shepherds looked their sheep miles beyond the town halls 
to find grass and water. Being a shepherd was a lonely job and they weren't even very clean. No one valued them and no one listened to them, even though the job they did was important. Now children, let's read Luke chapter 2 and verse 8 to 20. Let's all turn our Bible to Luke chapter 2 8 and verse 8 to 20. Let's read it loud together. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over the sheep at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angels said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in the clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of angelic hosts appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heavens and on the earth. Peace to those on whom his favor rests. And when the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they uh, what they uh, spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. So children, the Bible says that the shepherd out in the fields at night and the angel appeared to them and the glory of the Lord was all around them. The shepherds were scared. The angel told them not to be afraid, right? And after the angel announced the good news of a multitude of angels appeared giving glory to God. And once they went away, the shepherds talked among themselves and then went into the town to find the baby. They found him just as the angels said they would. Right? But when they uh, left the place where Jesus was, the shepherds were glorifying God and telling all of the townspeople about what they had seen and heard. Did you see children? The shepherds were very normal, ordinary people. They were often overlooked. They weren't uh, famous at all, right? No one knew how they were uh, except those who worked with them or their families. Well, does this sound like you and me? Yes, we too are known only by those who are in our circle of family and friends. Right children? If the angel's message was to all people, did that include the shepherds? Absolutely yes. Does that include you and me? Yes, of course, children, that includes you and me. 
and God wants His good news message to go to all the people around. The shepherds uh, represent everyone, all humanity. And once the shepherds heard the good news, how did they respond? You can type in your answers in the light. Yes, they ran as fast as they could to meet Jesus. And uh, once they met Jesus, they told everyone, everyone they could about Jesus. So can you tell me what can we learn from the shepherds? Yes, we should have as much joy about the good news of Jesus as the shepherds had and how they showed. We should uh, proclaim Jesus to all the people and glorify God just like the shepherds did. So children, just like that humble shepherds, let's take the good news of Jesus and share with others joy. We hope you enjoyed today's online service and we would love to hear from you. Tell us what you think. Write your comments in the live chat or send an email to kidsonline at apcwo.org. Also, don't forget to visit us online at apcwo.org slash kidsonline. We have fun activities and challenges for you to do. Remember, if you do a good work and send it to us, we might include it in our upcoming online services. So make sure to go to apcwo.org slash kids online and do one or more of those activities. Would love to meet with you and pray with you immediately after the service. You can join us on Zoom for a quick catch-up using the Zoom login ID and password provided on the screen. Before we close, is anyone's birthday coming up this week? Why don't you type your name, birth date, and your age in the live chat so that we as a team can wish you and pray for you. 
Have you always had questions about the Bible, about Jesus, or how to live for Jesus, and didn't know who to ask? Why don't you email your questions to us, and we'll do our best to answer it in an upcoming online service. The email to write to is kidsonline at abcwo.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Let's pray before we close. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, God, for this service, Lord. Thank you for this day, and thank you so much for this time, Lord. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, and we bless you, Jesus, for teaching us so many things, Father. Thank you for uh, speaking to us, Lord, about the Christmas story, God, and thank you so much for each and everything you've taught us today, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name for everybody celebrating their birthday today. And God, I just thank you, Father, for their lives. And thank you so much, Heavenly Father, that you are with them, God. And I pray, Father, for your blessing, your love, and your goodness, God, to be revealed in their lives, Heavenly Father. Lord, I also want to thank you, Father, for this entire service. And we thank you for being with us, Lord. We thank you, Father, for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you so much, Father, God. We bless and honor you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Bye children, have a blessed Christmas and share the good news of Jesus to everyone.